Here's another video of the Bronica RF645. Something you guys probably haven't seen is video in the actual viewfinder. So I just turned it on, half press the shutter. You see the LCD off to the left. I'm in uh, currently in aperture priority, which you see the A, F4, 1 15th of a second. If I go to program mode, uh, it doesn't change anything, obviously. It actually still gives you both the shutter and aperture. Turn off the light here. You will see the camera can't find exposures. Trying to adjust. Went down quite a bit in shutter speed, but it was still too slow because obviously there's no light. And then if I rotate the knobs into the shutter speeds, you uh, will see instead of showing aperture, it gives you the light meter. I'll have to go down to 15th of a second uh, to get the proper exposure. And uh, kind of similarly, if I went back to aperture priority, and then you move your aperture, and the shutter speed changes, you know, nothing unexpected. If I hit the exposure lock, you get this little AL, which actually keeps the display on, which will be kind of nice here. Uh, exposure comp plus exposure comp minus. That's uh, one of the not or controls on the back. And then uh, basically you have that flash indicator. I think that only works for the actual Bronica flash that was made for these, which I don't have. X is basically the camera's not ready. If you don't fully advance the next frame, and honestly the film advance is a little bit sticky in this camera. It's a little weird, but it does work. Shot a couple rolls already. But uh, if you haven't fully advanced, it'll show an X. Camera is basically not ready. It won't take a frame. You won't, if you hit the shutter, nothing happens. Uh, and it's not actually cocking the shutter because this is a leaf shutter camera, so the shutter is uh, actually activated by the, the batteries. It's uh, totally electronic. The last little indicator on the bottom is a battery with an X through it. Theoretically, when your batteries run down, I haven't had that happen yet. I just got the camera, but that will glow and the camera won't work. You'll also notice next to the exposure lock, which I'm going to shut off, there's a little O that's basically for the the shutter uh, when it's you know activated. So if you just take a you know typical shot at a regular shutter speed, it flickers you know for one five hundredth of a second, one two fiftieth, whatever shutter speed. So it just kind of glows very faintly for like a second or not a second, but you know what I mean, quickly. Theoretically, in bulb mode, I'm guessing it would just stay illuminated. So that's uh, basically it. Quickly, I'll uh, I'm gonna lock it again so the screen stays on. You'll see, I'm going to focus out to infinity. Notice the frame lines go to the upper left. And then I'll focus to the one meter, the closest focusing distance. And they go to the lower right. It's mechanical, a couple of range finder. It's pretty neat. And uh, obviously that center square is how you find focus. This is my first range finder, so it's pretty fun to actually be able to do this. It works pretty good. I wouldn't say it's better or worse than a old SLR with a good uh, split prism and micro prisms or whatever around the circle but works pretty well only difference is even with those SLRs the whole frame you know the whole viewfinder is a matte screen you can kind of get focus even when you're focusing off center uh, this one you have you have to focus and recompose the rangefinder but that's any rangefinder so yeah that's it this is the viewfinder of the Bronica RF645 thanks